Sierra and I met at Sacred Heart Hospital in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, where I had been working as a surgical tech for a few years, and she was hired on as a new nurse. And I remember the first day that she started, I was walking through the hallway with my friend Chris, who was actually our officiant at the wedding. He's marrying us. And he turned to me and he said, oh look, we got some new nurses. <laughs> he said, one of them's a 10 and the other one's not. <laughs> <laughs> and so I looked and that was the first time I saw her and sure enough he was right, you know, she was beautiful. I was touring around um, with somebody who was like training us and I like kind of got this like weird feeling about like Isaac, like, like weird good, you know, like you knew he was like, I gotta stay away from him or I'll like him or something. Um, so I ignored him for six months and he continued to ask me how my weekend was. So. What we used to do is after the weekend, I would come and she'd be standing at the front desk and I would just say, how was your weekend? And of course she would like one word answer me or blow me off because she was with somebody, which is understandable. Our officiant today, Chris and Beth, his wife, worked on getting us together. Um, I was dating someone else at the time and Beth would consistently inform me that Isaac was still single and that he was available for any date at any time. I'm like, okay, thank you, I'm still with somebody. And then um, Chris on the other end would keep telling Isaac that I was super cute and he should, you know, go after me, whatever, you know, and Isaac was like, yeah, I agree. Persistence, you know, and trying to blossom a friendship turned into what it is today. And uh, as soon as she was freed up, obviously, I was, I asked and we started dating. After some persistence and a breakup, um, and uh, we went out on a date, went to like a going away party for um, a cardiac surgeon, and then we decided to get some more drinks and keep talking, and then we just went on a couple dates after that, and you know, the rest is history, so. I decided to propose to Sierra for a multitude of reasons. She, every day, surprises me with just how kind she is, and how supportive she is. She was supportive during long distance. Um, I went to grad school for a couple of years and we still made it work. I just fell in love with her because her and I could just be strong through all of that. When Isaac proposed, I felt very overwhelmed with joy and excitement and a little bit of confusion because I didn't think it was gonna happen, but blacked out and I didn't hear what he said and I just said yes a bunch of times until I like processed that I said yes and put the ring on me. We're on the beach and the sunset. It's perfect. And I knew for a while I was going to propose but obviously it took me a while to get the courage to do so. I've been afraid of marriage my entire life. <laughs> That's why it took so long but it was a long time coming and I'm glad I asked and I'm glad she said yes. <laughs> It is my honor, by the power vested in me, by the great state of California, it is my honor to declare you husband and wife, and you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Mr. and Mrs. Pacheco. See
and stories that seek to be read taking hold of the moment as we discover